Alright, how are you doing guys? Gazman here, and today we are playing Football Manager 17. More specifically, one of my journeyman saves, which I started a fair while ago. As you can see by the top right here, 2043 the year is currently, and if, if I sound a bit disappointed, it's because I oh, just did this episode thing. For about an hour and realized i forgot to record game footage just just all audio and visual with the uh face cam down here and that was a roller coaster journey i'll uh, try and put that in i'll probably put it a bit in at the end uh just of my reactions with various things but yeah that was tough as you can see we lost three two shipped Three goals in the second half, including one in the 84th minute. Had a goal disallowed in the 90th uh, because of a foul. Cross went in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this has come straight after Liverpool Watford as well. So that's that's a whole bunch of disappointment. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we'll move on from that and... Uh, Okay. Yeah, I'll go through the squad. We'll uh, luckily we've got another cup final to um, look forward to here, which I will be going through in this episode. It's the uh, Euro Super Cup. We won the Champions League last year in an invincible season, and we'll go up against QPR. And who did who the hell did they beat to get to that point? Because you wouldn't expect QPR. There you go. They've been going quite well of late. Uh, let's see, Champions Cup was their competition, let's go down to Euro, who did they beat? Atletico, gee, that's quite something, also pretty worrying to see Liverpool, yeah, Liverpool aren't doing so well in this save ever since, ever since Klopp left, they did win a title actually, so, uh, just so you know, it was just in 20, oh, 2019, 2021, 2022, so it actually kind of predicted a Liverpool era of dominance, uh, considering that uh, we started in 2017, it didn't really look like that was going to... Oh, send me assistant, I cannot be bothered with that with that press conference. Uh, yeah, it didn't look like Liverpool were going to get that sort of dominance uh, a couple of years ago, but here we are. Anyway, moving on to this, which is <laughs> what I'm here to show you today. Um, I guess I'll go through the starting 11 that started that final. So there it is just briefly. I'll, I'll make a change. Uh, sub Barnett, the young kid from Toowoomba out. He's a really good youth prospect. Sub in Hassan Saeed, who's uh, a more experienced player. Sorry about the chair creaking, by the way. My stuff is very, very old here. But yeah, very good physical stats, so he's been quite reliable for the last few seasons. But let's go through this lineup. Uh, we've got uh, Sandro Pane in goal. Uh, started off at Juve. Um, I bought him up at St. Albans a few seasons back. Uh, had to loan him off to Real Madrid, in which he won the title then in an invincible season. So that was... Oh, sorry, sorry if that's in the way. Um... Yeah, won an invincible season, then got him back, uh, performed really well, won the Europa League, then came third in the Prem, that's us right there. Then came to Juve and absolutely did bits. Then we got Alberto Mazzio, really good young player, fantastic stats, he's been ridiculous ever since we brought him over from Benfica, and that's a bit of a theme in this uh, in this squad. Bringing players over from Portugal, as you can see with our next player, Montaigne, I think, Toluca's a Portu Portuguese team. No, it's Mexican. Mexican. Now, he was a ridiculously cheap buy. 20 mil we got him for. Uh, for the uh, four-star centre-back with insane pace and acceleration and agility. Like, what, what the guy's... Yeah, six foot. Uh, still with pretty good strength, so we got him. And then we got a more serious... Um, center back here with uh, 20 strength in Landon Rodriguez got him from Bruges uh, Alexis Iriarte the captain got him from Valencia on the cheap and he's been our best player for the last three or four seasons he's been insane like I've got to show you 
look at those average stats there. Like, he was not great at Valencia, but I'm no, I can't remember that far back. It's been a while since I've even really played football manager in this save, so I can't remember that far back to see what I really saw in him from those sort of stats, but God, he's been good. Uh, then you got uh, Stelic and Patalano in the midfield with uh, Hoisman as a really good sort of reserve. It's good to have a four-star player on the bench. Uh, Stelic's been in really good form. Uh, crushed uh, Fidel Sandria, a uh, club I used to manage with, uh, I think, two assists in that match. We covered that in the previous episode, which I might also link in the goals for that as well. Then we've covered his seed. We've got Riviera, who uh, Rivera, sorry, who we just got in for 40, 49 mil. Um, we had a bit of a weakness in that attacking midfielder spot, but it's one, it's a position that I like to have sort of employed. Then we've got the uh, four star player uh, Serrano on the left side, and then the hundred and fifteen million dollar man in Alberto D'Ambrosio, who has scored. What, just under a goal a game? Yeah, just under a goal a game, which is a better rate than he was going back in the Portuguese League, which is pretty impressive, and that's not including his uh, heroics in the Champions League. You can see 14-9 in nine last season, 7-10 in, uh, in 10 the year before. So he has been pretty damn good, and that's all without pens too. He doesn't, he's not oh, apart from last season, but yeah, he's pretty damn impressive. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got rid of him. Um, yeah, so that's the squad. Uh, probably introduce you to a few different players as they come along if we need to make any uh, substitutions or if we somehow make any transfers uh, in the time running up to this match. But I think right now we'll just skip to the start of the European Cup and we'll go from there. Yeah, so this middle period is going to be a whole bunch of nothing, so I'll just... Do a bit of cherry picking here. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, you're joking. Oh, that sucks. Always want to see these guys do good. Used to manage them back when they were about here. And then they went and did that. That was a dramatic drop-off. If you take a look at their manager history, um, was it Keske Honda? Yeah, yeah, Keske Honda, who was... Uh, I think he's still assistant manager there. Got him in just for the meme when uh, Melbourne Victory signed him. Uh, it's only been a little while ago, so yeah, you can see he goes all the way back to when I was there. Um, yeah, and now it sucks that they're in Surrey 2. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's not Surrey 2, what am I thinking? Surrey C, Surrey C. Anyway, enough sidetracking, let's get to the cup final. Uh, just quickly, just taking a look at these uh, these sorts of screens here. Uh, earlier on in the previous episode, we had uh, favourites to win the league. That is quite clearly us. Now the top goal scorer is quite clearly Alberto D'Ambrosio. Um, Carlos Jose, did he score past us in that bloody fight? No, he didn't. So it was just all their other players. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Plays for a crap team. <laughs> now, if, uh, if it looks like I'm bitter, I am. But we should win this game, you'd imagine, against QP. Oh my god, they beat Man City. Oh, good lord. Um, oh, the Premier League's already started. Wow, okay, uh, this this definitely changes my tone, uh, that's, yeah, not, 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 not good. Uh, how the hell did they do that? <laughs> Let's move on, uh, we'll send the assistant for that, because I'm really not in the mood. Here we go. Uh, let's look at the squad that we're running with. I can't see any changes that I want to make. This comes down to oh, I don't want Medina here. Yeah, he's a he's a former star that uh, I he's getting on. Didn't really use him a lot. 
gets real tetchy when you drop him. So, oops, a daisy, I've done that. Uh, I do like uh, I do like Calio. I just mainly because I spent fifty million on him and I want to justify it. It's like when you yes, <laughs> it's like when you spend 50, like a couple of bucks on a new uh, like you know, new barbecue and you just want to use it a lot to justify the purchase. But yeah, fifty mil hasn't played a lot of games and he has been injured a lot which has been a pain in the ass, especially when he had a thigh strain ha 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 um that's pretty much it i think in terms of i don't want to be too pedantic over it because uh we'll be wasting time with 17 minutes into the raw recording already oh wait oh yeah fuck Got those seven subs. Okay, looks like Cadio isn't going to be on the bench after all. That sucks. Uh, that's my own fault, and there's nothing I can do. Uh, remember what I said like 30 seconds ago? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Real good. Anyway. Uh. Chosen move, Hoisman. Yeah, yeah, because it said Patalano was going to be the best player in the world. Um, no rotations necessary. Um, so who have we got on the bench? Okay, shitty defender, very old defender, midfielder, midfielder, winger, striker. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Uh, yep, yeah, do it for the fans. Once again, fantastic response. Uh... Yeah, go, go team midfielders. Um, Pane, don't let through three goals again, my friend. Okay, oh, yep, forgot how square it was. That is a square boy. So, yeah, here we go, Rivera with the ball. Yeah, didn't think we'd get a highlight to start with. So, who do you think's going to win now? Not that it makes a difference. Uh, don't know why I asked. Here we go. Patalano with the ball on the outside. Sekic heads it back out. Rivera... No one's in the box anymore, so Ryan has got... Oh, Dan oh, Ambrosio, he's got the goal! Yes, first goal on the Harry Maguire Memorial Field here. And that was a pretty tidy finish. I was a bit, uh, bit concerned that everyone just yeeted up the field like that, but uh, turns out they were creating some space. Really good ball from Serrano first time, and D'Ambrosio is not missing those. Uh, so that's 1-0 to us within six minutes. Very, very impressive. Then again, that happened last time as well. Oh, don't cards are that good. We'll just uh, make that change. So four shots to one so far. 17 minutes in, here we go. Marzio with the throw. We tend to create a lot from throw-ins by Marzio. Ball over the top, not really going anywhere. Rivera, oh, gone. Nah, that's poor. Oh, no, they're going to hit us on the counter. West with the ball now. Oh, don't let him pass you, don't let him pass you. Scott with the ball, play it outside to Carpignani. It's going to come in, it's going to be a goal, yep. Oh, he's missed it! How has he missed that? That is a let off. Oh, gee. I was going to say, it is a bit hard to see some of these guys. It's They are ants with this uh, with this setup. I hate square pitches on this game. Here we go, Rodriguez with the ball. Normally very good with the ball, he'll do something good with it. Uh, Patalano, very concerned he's that far back, actually, so, uh, I like to set up with a short passing mentality. Here we go, Saeed, oh, he's gonna get that, yep, there you go. Charging down the wind, look at that pace, then again, the pitch is only about 10 centimetres long. Where is this highlight going to end up? I'm not, oh god. Why? Why? Oh. oh, he's almost missed that too. Oh, you bastard. Uh, well, how did we go invincible last season? We are doing some really stupid stuff at the start of this season. Okay. Okay, let's just get the old concentrate thing up there. That normally works. Um... All right, here you go, Mazio to say, please don't turn it over instantaneously. St oh, oh, no, yep, cheers, there you go, Sterling. I swear if you get the second yellow in the first half, I'm going to cry. 
Uh, so Eden to Rivera. He's, Ambrosio's on. He's on. He's going to go himself and, yeah, pays the price. Their keeper, whose name it looks very scary, picks up the ball pretty easily. Here we go. Ariate into Montano. Really wanted him to, you know, make up for that ridiculous mistake he made earlier on, but here it goes. Why don't you turn it over again, champ? Nope. Pass it to one of our teammates. There's a change. Thing. And I suppose he's, he's a younger sort of defender, so you've got to cut him a bit of slack, I guess, occasionally. Right, Serrano, dispossessed by Scott Stellick, gets the ball. A really good challenge from him. Padalano with nowhere to go. He's got, oh, he's got, hmm, yeah, no one's really on for him at the moment. Here goes D'Ambrosio to Rivera, yes! Just what we needed, right the ball out tonight. Thank goodness. Oh, that's a relief, and that is Rivera's second goal of the season. And was it, no, it's not second in the game because D'Ambrosio scored the first one. Uh, yeah, he also scored uh, last game as well, I believe. So, yeah, great job from him. Yeah, he did score, didn't he? Let's just take a look. Um, yep, good. I um, wasn't making that up. Fantastic. So, 2-1 at half-time to QPR. We're doing better than Man City did anyway. Um, right. Hmm. I went with the whole complacency angle. Oh, God, I was sad. I went with the whole guard against complacency angle last time, and that really didn't work. Um, I think we just go like that. Uh, and then, yep, go team midfield again. I always like doing that because there's five of them, so... Team talks to just the midfield alone tend to be pretty effective. So here goes Serrano. Don't think we're going to get anything early on, but it's worth a shot. Here we go, D'Ambrosio. Serrano. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Good little chance, but you can see it's been fairly even in terms of the shot count, but 62% of possession we, we have had. Now, I might look at subbing Stelic. I mean, he's been okay, but do not want that red, and especially because we got uh, Hoisman on the... Uh, Bench as well, four star player. Um, yeah, I suppose, yeah, brief introduction to him. Yeah, he's been pretty good. We also got him from the Portuguese league. For some reason, in this state, they just produce some really good regions. Um, yeah, he's getting on a bit, so I'm starting to use him a bit less, but he's perfect for situations such as this. Um, had a very similar subbing situation last game, actually. And we, oh, wait, what? What? Um, okay, okay, two questions, two questions. How the hell is it the 75th minute already when... I was in the substitution menu. Normally it pauses. And secondly, what? Ugh, not again. It's gonna happen again. Right. Okay. This game is in cahoots a little bit here. Right, Saeed is coming off. He's had a poor... Go oh, no, there's, <laughs> there's no replacement for him because we lost Barnett off the bench. Oh, this is... Yeah, yeah this is disastrous. <sighs> Do we sub Montano for Van Leeuwen? There's a big gap in quality, but he's on a yellow. You know what? Gonna pause it, we'll go to the advanced substitution menu. Just take a look, because how good Serrano on that side? Not great, but we get Rodriguez. Ugh. Ugh. It's not 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 a great situation, really. I might, mm, I might leave things how it is, how they are, and just t tell the lads to pull their own bloody heads in. Right, down ball here. Oh, oh yes. Oh no. It's happened again. 
<laughs> That's another foul that we have conceded when scoring potentially the winning goal. Two games in a row. It's mad. I've never seen that happen before. Anyway, D'Ambrosio with the ball. Rivera on the outside. Tell me he was fouled. No, Rivera gets the ball back. D'Ambrosio! Yes! That wasn't a foul. That was not a foul. Yes! Legitimate third goal. Ten minutes to go. Suck on that QPR. Oh, that feels good. That was a complete mess. That is exactly what you expect. Oh, my God. That is exactly what you expect to see in a European Cup final from a bloke he just paid $50 million for, just stumbling over the ball. But that counts as an assist somehow. And two minutes of injury time. Please don't score from this. Pane gets the ball. I'm worried that there's a whole minute and a half to go with this highlight. Here we go. Serrano coming in. Have to cross it. Hoisman. Yes! Yes! What a hit from Hoisman! I thought that was a goal. Oh, that's fantastic. That's brilliant. Let's take a look at the finish here, ladies and gentlemen. Serrano. It was a beautiful ball, but... Oh, yeah, he's cut in front. He's towed it. He's towed it on the volley. That would have been horrendously painful. Uh, I was going to make it... Uh, I was going to make a sub for the meme, but, you know, screw it. Might as well. There you go. Isaac Gonzalez, our secondary keeper, comes on as an inside forward. If it even registers that substitution in the 15 seconds. There we go. There we go. Brilliant work from Gonzalez. Oh, shit. Okay, it might cost us a goal. No, it won't. And there we go. We win the Super Cup. Thank the Lord that we didn't blow that. Oh, it was... Mm, that was close. That was very, very uncomfortable. But we did it. <laughs> we did it. Congratulations, lads. Uh, we did get away with that, though. Um, Craig Moffat. He's not... He's not great. He's... He's okay. He scored two goals against an invincible side in a cup final. How? But anyway, it's apparently worth 105 million. Anyway, let's get out of that, shall we? And celebrate our win. Oh, shit. Got an achievement, what for? Well, that's pretty handy to catch, <laughs> to catch on camera. Oh, wow. Okay, let's, let's, let's go into that then. Uh, Hall of Fame. Hell yeah. Hey, that, that's worked out quite all right then. That's, uh, yeah, that's our, uh, where is it? Three, it should be there. Oh, no, that's Italian Super Cup. There we go. Second Euro Super Cup win in a row after we... Who did we do in last year? That was Monaco 1-0. And I tell you what, I'm glad you didn't see that affair. That was... That looks like it would have been bloody boring. <laughs> Instead, we got a, what, six-goal final? Uh, with Moffat as best on... Green. No, D'Ambrosio. D'Ambrosio, he's the winner. D'Ambrosio gets best on green. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how it works. Um, no, I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. That's I've been trying to get there for a fair old while. Um, yeah. Actually, um, I was going to say where's um, where's Gallardo because he's been there you go. I've been top of the Australian one for a long time because we suck. <laughs> um, now, where's Spain? Because I, I need to show you something. Because I was saying to everyone. Actually, both both coaches. Actually, I've been saying to everyone. Where is he? Oh, uh, no, Nuno Sant uh, Esprino uh, Santos isn't on there. Um, currently, coach of, uh, currently coach of Wolves. But um, he's been tearing it up in this save. And Spanish. Spanish. Where is... I suppose Gaida wouldn't be on there. It takes a lot, but... No, but those guys have been really good. But anyway, let's see. Nation. Yep, we're currently fourth on there. Just got above Lippy. That might have got us above Lippy, actually. Um, Conte's on there, of course. He 
In this save, he came back with Juventus. To uh, basically everyone here is Juve, apart from uh, apart from Mancini. Everyone at the top here has spent some time with Juve. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. And then Continent, we're probably yeah a bit of the way down. Somehow we're lower con on <laughs> somehow we're we're lower on the Continental than on the worldwide. But whatever. Um, no, that's. That's a really cool way to round this out, I think. Um, just a bit of tooting my own, my own horn. But yeah, as you can see, that's all the stuff that we've done. Or that, yeah, <laughs> we've done over the last 20 years of in-game saves. Because um, there was nothing before, before that. Certainly not five years of abject failure while I was learning to understand the game. <laughs> Certainly didn't relegate a Ukrainian club into complete obscurity and they hadn't recovered. But no, that's that's a really good way to end it. Um Yeah. Um I suppose that's it for this sort of I don't want to say experimental episode, but um Yeah. Um I'll probably be doing uh, now I'll, de I'll definitely be doing something like this with the next football manager that comes out, but we'll start from the from the beginning. The main reason why I'm not doing anything now is because it's really hard for <laughs> it, it's hard for me to gain investment in new series on this game when I got this one to go, and no one's really going to care about this series continuing when I'm already pretty much finished it. So um, I suppose I'll see what's the next football manager twenty. Would it be 20 or 21? I suppose 21. Well, I suppose I'll, uh, I'll see you on Footy Manager 21, I guess. And uh, in the meantime, uh, stay cool, have fun, and uh, have a good one. Here we go. Corner for us, Serrano takes. Into Stelic, D'Ambrosio, and there we go. First goal of the video. Good near post effort. Sensational work from the yellow carded man. Let's take a look at it in three dimensions. Near post merchant. Here we go again. Yeni with the corner. Surely not again. Mazzeo to Serrano at the edge of the D. Stelix in there. Second time of asking is in. And we're two goals to the good. 15 minutes in. Oh, it's come off Ben Lewin. Oh. Yeni outside to Iriate. And it comes to the young Josh Barnett. Yes. The boy from Toowoomba has scored in the first game of the season. That's that's pretty good. Ferrari gets a card. Say with a free kick on the edge of the box. Off the wall. Habanar with a goal. Beautiful finish. Can't wait to see that. Oh. Wait, what? He's given that to Serrano. Yeah, let's see this. Right, Saeed is there. Habanar takes the shot. And it must have just glanced Serrano. That's very interesting indeed. Center. Oh, Padalano's got the ball back. Oh, no. Straight to Muller in the center. Once again, Padalano turns it over. But Rivera gets the ball back. Here we go. Hit him on the counter. We've got Barnett on the outside. That's an interesting option. Looks like D'Ambrosio will go to Rivera, who scores. Oh, it's only just in. It's squeaked through past Van Dorp. Probably came off the post as well from what I saw. Let's take a look in 3D. At what is, here we go. Second half of the Italian Super Cup final. It's so important to me. I keep forgetting the name of the cup. Here we go. Mazio with the ball on the our right side. Barnett takes it. Serrano into D'Ambrosio. Surely he scores and he does. That puts us 2-0 up. Good finish from an angle, and it looks like, yeah, AC Milan are in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> Keepers have been a bit weird on Football Manager for a long time. As Iriate intercepts, oh no, straight to Reyes, to Muller, to Berger. Don't tell me they're going to hit us on the counter. Rodriguez gets in the way, not of the second shot. Oliveri, Olivieri, I should say, gets the uh, gets the goal for them, and that. Mm. Damn. But good grab from Pane. That is a relief. That is a relief. Um, <laughs> yeah, two all there would have been disastrous. Oh dear. Okay, Berg with the free kick on the wide side there. Borges back to Berger. It's going to come back in. It's going to be a goal. Yep, yep. 
you could see that coming. You could see that coming. Ooh. Right. Yep, tell them to tighten up and they ship two chances. So, uh, let's just encourage the squad there. 75 minutes gone. And, oh God. Oh God. No, oh, 84th minute. You're kidding. You are kidding. Ah. That's, that, that hurts. Three minutes of added time. Marzio, not a great throw in. But here we go. Rivera with the ball. On the outside to Serrano. It's in. It's in. Three all. This is fantastic. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> You're choking. I mean, you could see that there, but mm, that's, that's a tough way to lose it. That's a tough way to lose it. Mm. Yep. Why did it have to go in? Oh, that's rough. That's rough, but that's life. Oh, well, not the way I was hoping to end this, obviously, but yeah, it shows there's a bit more work to put in. Absolutely not good enough. Yeah, no real standouts for us in terms of rating. Static was probably our best and I took him off, but... Ouch, 84th minute. Oh well. Hoping for better stuff next time. <laughs> well... Been a journey. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been fun for you guys. And uh, um, yeah, I suppose I'll see you in whatever capacity I decide to do this next.